All right, let's take a look at this. This is the, uh, I have an uh, upgrade for members in the room called the Liquidity Grab Trader. Um, we know that um, we, we, we look for V bottoms, a liquidity grab, and then a Momo 1. That's the process that we look for. So this is since midnight last night. Uh, I've run the program. Let me hit real time, strategy performance, real time here. Where is it at? Okay. Now, remember, past performance is not indicative of future results. Let me just show you how this works, and then we'll get this out to you. Um, um, I'm going to do about another week testing on it, and then get over to Gerald to wrap it. We'll put it on the members download page. So let me hit real time. Real time. This is what it's done since, last, uh, since midnight last night. We'll go over some trades. So you can see what it does is the... Um, this is off of just the 1120, the potential in this thing. This is taking the first liquidity grab off the 1120. Now I have it set where you can take the counter moves and the trend moves. So depending on which you want to do, this is taking both sides of the market. Remember, obviously, past performance is not indicative of future results. Let me just show you the potential of this guy. Um, so this is just running uh, live. Uh, since last, uh, since midnight last night, these are all the trades that was taken. Let's go over them real quick, and let me show you exactly why they're taking trades and how you can do it. So let's look at the time frame right now, real quick. This is a one one twenty, one one twenty, one one twenty. The reason this is an upgrade over our over our um, previous liquidity grab, uh, the, this liquidity grab trader is looking for the first liquidity grab after a V top. What I've noticed in the market is is that we know the rhythm of the market. We, we've got that down. Our pattern recognition software can pick the V bottoms, V tops, and then it picks the Momo 1 and Momo 2s to get the market moving. But what I've noticed in the markets is after a V top, so let's say our V bottom, after a V top or a V bottom, so let's say this is a V top, for instance, after a V top. The process is our VTOP in the room, we know we've done tons and tons of videos on our VTOP program, is our VTOP. What I noticed before MOMA 1 comes in, <clears throat> the MOMA 1 will come around down at this level. What I've noticed is that the market likes to grab liquidity before the MOMA 1 after a VTOP. So what I did is I made it an, uh, uh, a trader, auto trader, to capture those moves all right so there's this is where the momo one typically happens right around that level here's your v top so there's your v top and then here's where the liquidity grab trader comes in let me explain why this is taking trades this is taking both counter and current trades. I mean, the counter and um, trend. You can do one or the other. So this is where the liquidity grab trade trade is. Why is it taking a trade, and why is this important to know? Now you can do the, use this on all Renko sizes, or all you can use, even use it on minute charts. Doesn't matter. What you're doing is. There's liquidity grab trader right here. So why is it taking this short? What I recognized with the software is that after we get it, we know VTOPs are very, very important in the program because we got our dual trend filter. If it's red, red, we're taking VTOP shorts. If it's green, green, we're taking VTOP buys. We all know that. We all know the Momo one comes in after the VTOP and the market gets rolling. What happens in the middle is you see this little spike, this little spike, this little spike, this little bar spike. That's called a liquidity grab. The smart money, what it likes to do is it can't go 100 contracts at the market or 200 contracts at the market or 300 or 400 or 500. Depending what Rinko size they, I mean, what time, time frame they use, some use daily, some use weekly, you know, hedge funds or prop firms. Some use five-minute charts. This works on five-minute chart, minute charts, what have you. 
Some use 10-minute charts, etc. Some use Renko. Some use different bar types. They all have one thing in common, though. They're grabbing liquidity for a pullback. So what happens is the market does a VTOP. Very simple. There's your VTOP. There's our normal entry right here. If the market, let's say, is red, red. There's our normal entry. Right? So after the normal entry, red, red, the market's moving. Starts moving down after a VTOP. You'll notice the market likes to go against the trend then. These are where the counter trend traders try to push the market back up. So the market comes down to six, uh, 56, 07 and a half and goes all the way back up to 09 and a half. They're grabbing liquidity in this little box. What the liquidity grab trader will do, it will recognize this. It will recognize they're grabbing liquidity and it will get short right at the close of this candle. Buys will be the opposite. All right. So buys. Now remember, I had this on counter trades and just to show you how it works on both sides and trend trades. So let's say here's a V, v bottom. Let me show you just so you understand this thing. There's our V bottom. For V bottoms, we know we'll wait till the bar closes, candle closes on a V bottom. And then we'll look for a Momo 1 to get us going. After Momo 3, the market lights go parabolic. We've seen that yesterday. Some good parabolic moves. There's our V bottom. So here is your V bottom. That's your V bottom. The market starts moving up. When the market starts moving up, smart money is going to try to grab liquidity. Right here. It goes from 09 to half. They pull it back all the way down to 06 and a half. It's almost 13 ticks. They're grabbing liquidity. As soon as that closes on the first liquidity grab, the strat will go long. Now remember, this works on all Renko sizes. So if you're trying to grab big liquidity, large liquidity moves, increase contract size. It's going to increase your stop, but it's going to increase your move. If you're trying to grab smaller liquidity moves, go smaller. You can go all the way down to a 155, a 133, a 144. I made this so it uh, won't shut down on us. There's your liquidity. And typically, Momo 1 will come in. Right there's this level. So that's the rhythm of the market. So what I'm doing, I'm adding another potential entry in the infancy of a move is before the train gets rolling. So there will be Momo 1 and the market likes to move from there. Okay, and then the mar market tends to take a move. Now, I had two versions of it and I'm testing both versions right now as we speak. One, I have the version where it's only going to take the first liquidity grab and a move. So if we're in it, if we're uh, after a V top, and then it'll reset and take another liquidity grab after the V top. That's what that that's this version right here. I have another version that's taking every single liquidity grab that pops up after you get stopped out with trend. We'll take it here. We'll take it here, etc. So. I'll keep you guys posted which version I'm going to release right now. I prefer the first liquidity grab after a V top or V bottom. I do have two versions that I'm testing right now that takes every liquidity grab. And then one we're just with the first liquidity grab. But you can see this is the process we want to do. We want to do this in our normal trading. V top, the market likes to do this. This is pattern recognition software. It's, it's, it's pretty awesome. You guys have been doing a really, really good job. You members talking about the trades before they happen. A lot of you guys are really, really doing well. So what we want to do, the pattern, though, is this. VTOP, the market starts moving down. It likes to grab the first liquidity grab. 
then the first Momo, and then Momo 2, Momo 3, market goes parabolic after Momo 3. V bottom, liquidity graph comes in, then we look for a Momo 1, Momo 2, Momo 3, market goes parabolic. Right now, we've had no parabolic moves because the market is in a what? It's in a range. So this works in a range market also. And it works in a real hard trend market. All right, it can work on either side of the market. Now, like I said, this is a 1120. But you can go a 1130, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. You can go all the way down to a 113. The lowest you can go is a 113 to grab liquidity. But that's really for scalping if you want to scalp. Right? 114, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, all the way up. That's a difference between this and the scalper. You can use it on all Renko sizes, it's not just a longer Renko size chart. It's the biggest upgrade to the system. Okay, but this is called liquidity grab trader. What it's going to do, it's going to grab, it's going to get short along the first liquidity grab after a V top or V bottom. It works on all Renko sizes. This will be on the members download page. Please do not email Gerald. I'll let you know when it's on the members download page. All members will get a notice in their mailboxes. And once it's on there, download it. And members, we will have a conference call after we send this out. I will have a, a little PDF about this. Add it to the PDF about how to use the software. It's very, very simple. It's really it's really plug and play. There's not much to it. You know, all it's doing is grabbing liquidity after the first V top or V bottom in between a, a liquidity and then also um, the Momo one. All right. Why is that important? Let's go over this real quick before I shut this off. It's important because when you get into trades, when you get into, let me find a V top here. When you get these VTOPs and MOMOs like this, what, it, what the software is trying to do is this is our normal VTOP, right? We're red, red. We're red, red. And then we look for the first yellow trigger candle right there to enter. And then we get MOMO 1, MOMO 2, MOMO 3, market goes parabolic. This is yesterday morning. What the liquidity grab trader is trying to do is trying to grab liquidity right there, right at the first pullback. So it's trying to grab liquidity in between the VTOP, our normal pattern, in between MOMO 1. So what will happen is when MOMO, kicks in, MOMO 1 kicks in, your runner should be running. That's the beauty of the software. Okay. We want to happen in between. In between. Okay. Right now, we're doing a V bottom. It's trying to grab liquidity right now. Liquidity. Trying to grab liquidity. And you'll have your hard stop put in place also for this also. All right, it's trying to grab liquidity now, so the software went long. Okay, so this is a potential. Like I said, past performance is not indicative of future results. It's done well since midnight in real time. Have it running live here in the on the live data. It's done quite well on the trades. Uh, this is just since midnight tonight. You go all the way down. You can go all the way down to one contract all the way up to six contracts, and it works on all Rinko sizes. You can adjust your stops to any stop you want. Very, very simple how to use it.